What did you do immediately after winning your seat? Uh, my wife had booked us tickets to go to Robbie Williams, so I went to see his concert in Edinburgh. Was it good? Uh, my wife thought it was. Hello, my name is Douglas Ross and I'm the Member of Parliament for Murray. Why do you decide to go into politics? Uh, I've been in politics for quite a while. I've been a local councillor for 10 years and a member of the Scottish Parliament for a year before Westminster, uh, but I've always been interested in politics and public speech making from my days in Young Farmers. What's your favourite thing about your constituency? Uh, there's many things, but probably the food and drink. We've got more whisky distilleries than anywhere else in the UK and home of Baxter's Food Group and Walker Shortbread, to name but two. Is it pronounced scone or scone? Scone. What's the funniest thing someone said to you on the doorstep? Uh, someone pretended they were a dog behind a letterbox and were barking and pulling the leaflets through, uh, but it was quite clear because it was a frosted glass window that it was a human being behind the door. What did you do? Uh, I just put the leaflet through and uh, hoped they might support me. Have you ever voted for anyone but the Conservative Party? Yes, I was a member of the Liberal Democrats and my first ever vote was for the Lib Dems. My first ever Conservative vote was for someone called Jamie Halcrow Johnson who took my seat in the Scottish Parliament when I was elected here. Cameron or May? May. What's your favourite karaoke hit? Yeah, Atomic Kitten Hole Again. Really? Yes. How does it feel to have unseated the SNP leader in the Commons? Uh, it's very good, but also means a lot of people on that side of the political spectrum don't like me very much. What did he say to you after you won? Uh, he was very gracious. He told me to be calm and, and take deep breaths as I was about to be declared Murray's new MP. Which cabinet position would you least like to have? A department for Transport. Why? Uh, I just think it's a poison chalice, you know, there's, there's always some problem on the road or the rail. Who's the funniest MP you've met so far? Uh, Jamie Stone for the Liberal Democrats is quite a character. If you were Prime Minister for a day, without any repercussions, what would you do? Uh, I'd like to see tougher enforcement against gypsy travellers. What's the funniest moment from your campaign? Uh, oh gosh, there's quite a few. Uh, probably when people told me that they hope I got elected so I could stop refereeing local uh, m matches. I'm a football referee, so they wanted me down in Westminster away from the local football teams. Describe Philip Hammond in one word. Um, serious. You're on a night out with Theresa May. What song do you request from the DJ? I'll stick with my karaoke one so I can maybe serenade her with Atomic Kitten Hole again. It's got me a few um, high positions uh, in my town. Are you a big fan of Atomic Kitten? I am a huge fan of Atomic Kitten, as I think everyone should be. What's more important to you, loyalty to your party or sticking with your conscience? Absolutely sticking with my conscience. And finally, would you ever want to be Prime Minister? Yes, I think everyone who comes into politics should have aspirations to reach the very top. And last question, what do you hope to achieve as an MP? So is this last after the Anne Finley one or definitely the last one? But uh, <laughs> last one. I, I hope to achieve um, uh, as good a deal as possible for the people of Murray. They sent me down here to represent them and that's what I intend to do.